Hey guys, and welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over how to use the mining pool ethermine.org, how all of that works, how payouts work, how you can actually get your Ethereum into your wallet, and a lot of questions that I've been having on my previous video, how to mine Ethereum for beginners, um, from a lot of people saying that they've been mining just like me, they have their command prompt up, they've been mining for a few hours, a few days, and they've been checking their Ethereum wallet and they see there's zero Ethereum in there. And they're freaking out, they don't know what to do, they don't know why it's not working, they're wondering if this is a scam possibly, um, so on and so forth. So pretty much, I'm just gonna be going over how to use this website. And just so you all know, don't worry if you have zero Ethereum in your wallet and you've been mining for a few days, this is completely normal and I'm gonna explain why uh, in this video. So pretty much uh, Ethereum or ethermine.org is a mining pool and we use a mining pool just because if you try to mine alone you have to have a ton of different heart, uh, a ton of different graphics cards a lot of hashing power otherwise you're not really going to get a lot of shares and it's going to be difficult to make any viable amount of money. So when you use a mining pool it pretty much splits uh, shares up between different regions of people so you get what's called more luck kind of and you can get more shares and make more money. So uh, the mining pool here, Ethermine, takes a 1% fee, uh, meaning whenever you cash out, it's just going to take 1% of the Ethereum that you've mined. And yeah, so once you've set up your miner like this, if you haven't already done this and you still are wondering how to mine Ethereum, go check out my previous video. I'll put a link up in the top right here. It's going to be as a card and there'll be one in the description below. Um, go watch that one first as it's kind of a prerequisite to this. Um, if you have watched that and you're wondering how Ethermine works, just continue on with the video. So pretty much uh, since you've set up your miner that means you have an ethereum wallet address so you have your private key and your public key so this is my public key here um, 0x so on so you're just going to copy this and you should already have this um, say uh, saved in your miner so if you go to wherever your miner folder is and then you go to whatever script you're using to start it so mine's just called ethermine you click edit then you can see it's right after eWallet here. This will be your address, so you can copy that another way as well. And you're just going to go to ethermine.org. So if I just go to the basic page, I'll go to the home screen, and you'll see that it says address up in the top right here. It's a little white box. All you're going to do is you're going to paste your address in there, and you're going to click enter. Now, if you just started mining and you've done this, it might not show that you've mined anything. These numbers might all be zero. Don't freak out. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes to actually register on Ethermine that you're mining. So if you don't see those numbers there right away, don't worry, just give it a few minutes. And if after about 10 or 15 minutes you haven't seen anything, then maybe there's something wrong, but just give it some time. Okay, so you can see I've been mining for 22 minutes. My stats are popped up here. It shows my current mining rate, my rate per this hour, and then my effective mining rate. If you wanna know what those are, you can just read on the website it shows you. You're going to have a tab that says payout slash rounds. Now, this is what we're going to click on here uh, just to view a few statistics quickly. So when you click this, it's going to give you an estimated earnings tab. Now, this is what you're going to want to look at to determine how much you're going to be making in U.S. dollars, by the way, um, per day, per month, per year, etc., per week, per hour. Um, and that'll show you how much you're going to be making. And then if you go to settings, this is where we can configure our payouts. So by default, all of the Ethereum your mine doesn't automatically go into your wallet. It's actually stored on this website under your miner's address. So whatever your Ethereum wallet address is, that's your miner's address. You punch it in like this, and then you're able to see um, how much Ethereum you've mined. Now, it doesn't get paid out until you reach a certain threshold. So what I mean by paid out is it gets sent to your Ethereum wallet. So you can see right here I have uh, 0 0.0001 Ethereum. In my wallet, I don't have any. That's because I haven't reached my payout threshold. So if you want to change this threshold, you can go to settings. And by default, it is at one. I'm going to tell you right now, mining one Ethereum takes a very long time unless you have a lot of hashing power. So you're going to want to change this to probably the minimum amount unless you're mining with a lot of hashing power. So you're going to want to go to 0 0.05, especially if you're someone like me who's only mining at 17 mega hashes per second right now. Uh, so that's the minimum amount. You can see right here, it shows what it is. And then you're going to want to save this information. Now to do this, you need to type in your email address. And then you also need to type in your public IP address. Now to find your public IP address, you can just open a Google tab and just search what is my IP like so. I'm not actually going to click enter because then you'd see my IP, which is not a good thing. Don't share that with anyone. 
um, you're going to type that in here and you're going to click save like so. So once you've done that, it will save your threshold and then you can come back here and it should show you what percentage you are at of your payout threshold. So once you get to 100%, so you've mined 0.05 Ethereum, uh, it will pay you out automatically. There's nothing you have to do. And you can go and check your Ethereum wallet and you'll see that the Ethereum is actually in the wallet now. So that's pretty much all it is to using Ethermine. Now I will tell you that sometimes Ethermine is a little buggy. Um, your miner may go offline once in a while and it's a good idea to make sure you type in your email address here as it'll send you an email when your miner goes offline. Uh, if you have this little check mark ticked like that. Now this is really useful because that means that you can check the status of your miner. So say you're at school, you're at work, wherever you are, and one of your miner goes offline. If you have the ability to bring it back online, then you're able to do so. And you just know when it's online and offline. And it's really useful. I do that um, whenever I'm mining with my regular address. So yeah. So yeah, just a quick recap. If to use Ethermine, all you have to do pretty much is get your Ethereum wallet address you're using to mine. Type it in this address tab up here, click enter. It'll pull up all your statistics here, all your active workers, um, all your hash rate. It'll give you the last scene. So this one's useful. It shows you how long ago um, that it was online and so on. And then you can see all your shares, everything like that. And once you reach your payout threshold, which can be changed by going to the settings tab, then you will find that your Ethereum is in your wallet. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If it helps you out, please help me out by leaving a like and subscribe, and I will see you again in another video.